good afternoon students myself pooja adlakha assistant professor of goldfield college of education faridabad and myself dr umesh associate professor in goldfield college of education faridabad today our topic is evaluation and we will discuss about meaning definition and characteristics of evaluation an evaluation is basically a more formal assessment evaluations are related to performance based goals obtained and those needing importance now we shall discuss about the meaning of evaluation evaluation means quantitative description of pupils achievement plus qualitative description of pupils ability plus value judgment about achievement and ability evaluation focuses on grades and may reflect classroom components other than course content and mastery level these could include discussion cooperation attendance and verbal ability evaluation helps the teacher to make better judgment in various aspects evaluation is a broader term that refers to all of the methods used to find out what happens as a result of using a specific intervention or practice evaluation is a process of interpreting the evidences and making judgment and decision based on the evidence a process of summing up the results of measurement of test and giving them meaning based on the value judgment evaluation is a series of activities that are designed to measure the effectiveness of the teaching learning as a whole process it is the assessment of systematic planned and quality learning Evaluation is a systematic assessment of a plan, ongoing or completed intervention to determine its relevance, efficiency, effectiveness, impact, and sustainability. The intent is to incorporate lessons learned into the decision-making process. Evaluation is the act of considering or examining something in order to judge its value, quality, importance, extent, or condition. Evaluation is the systematic assessment of the worth or merit of some object. It is the systematic acquisition and assessment of information to provide useful feedback about some objects. Evaluation is the systematic assessment of the design, implementation, or result of an initiative for the purpose of learning or decision making. Evaluation is a systematic determination of a subject's merit, worth, and significance using criteria governed by a set of standards. Evaluation often utilizes assessment data along with other resources to make decisions about revising, adopting, or rejecting a course or a program. The term evaluation conveys several meanings in education and psychology. Evaluation is a broader term than the measurement. It is more comprehensive than mere inclusive than the term measurement. It goes ahead of measurement, which simply indicates the numerical value it gives the value judgment to the numerical value it includes both tangible and intangible qualities now different scholars have given different definitions of evaluation we are giving some of the definitions with their names the first definition is given by according to american evaluation association 2014 Evaluation is a systematic process to determine merit, worth, value, or significance. C. E. B. B. Nineteen seventy-seven. Evaluation as the systematic collection and interpretation of evidence leading as a part of pro process to a judgment of value with a view to action. In this definition, there are the following four key elements: systematic collection of evidence, its interpretation. judgment of value with a view to action now next definition is tv good the process of assess training or judging the value or amount of something by use of a standard of standard of appraisal includes judgment in terms of internal evidence and external criteria from the above definitions it can be said that evaluation much more comprehensive and inclusive term than the measurement and test A test is a set of questions, measurement in assigning 
numbers to the results of test according to some specific rules or other time evaluation adds value judgment. Now, Chen 2015. Program evaluation is the process of systematically gathering empirical data and contextual information about an intervention program, especially answer to what, who, how, whether, and why question that will assist in assessing a program's planning, implementation, and more effectiveness. Donaldson and Christie, 2006, Evaluation generates information for the decision making, often answering the bottom line question, does it work? Follow up questions to the basic, to this basic question frequently asked by those evaluating are, why does it work? From how, from whom does it work best? Under what conditions does it work? How do we make it better? Evaluators provide program stakeholders with defensible, answers to these important questions now it's encyclopedia of education research to measure means to observe or to determine the the magnitude of variate evaluation means assessment or appraisal according to goods defined evaluation is the process of judging the value or something by certain appraisal g and lin according to g and lin Evaluation is a systematic process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting info information to determine the extent to which pupils are achieving instructional objectives. According to Hana, the process of gathering and interpreting uh, interpreted evidence changes in the behavior of all students as they progress through school is called evaluation. According to James M. Bradfield, evaluation is thus assignment of symbols to phenomenon in order to characterize the worth or value of a phenomenon, usually with reference to some cultural or systematic standards. According to Joint Committee on Standard for Educational Evaluation 2011, systematic in investigations of the quality of program, projects, and their subcomponents for the purposes of decision-making judgment and new knowledge in the response to the needs of identified stakeholders leading to improvement or accountability ultimately contributing to organizational or social value. Muffet said evaluation is a continuous process and is concerned with then the formal academic achievement of pupils. It is interpreted in the development of the individual in terms of desirable behavioral change, relation of his feeling, thinking, and action. Norman E. Gronland and Robert L. Lin, evaluation is a systematic process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting in information to determine the extent to which pupils are achievement instructional objective. According to Pattern 1997, program evaluation is the systematic collection of information about the activity, characteristics, and outcomes of program to make judgment about the program, improve program effectiveness, and or inform decision about future programming. According to Preskill or Tours 1999, we envision evaluate inquiry as an ongoing process for investigating and understanding the critical organization issues. It is an approach to learning that is fully integrated with an organization's work practices, and such as it and engenders organize first organization members interest and ability in exploring critical issues using evaluation logic second organization members involvement in evaluate process next the personal and professional growth of individuals within the organization next definition given by rossi lipsey and freeman 2004 they say program evaluation is huge of social research methods to systematically investigate the effectiveness of social intervention program. It draws on the techniques and concept of social science disciplines and is intended to be useful for improving program and informing social action aimed at ameliorating social problems. 
According to Rockcliffe and Pricksfield's 2009, evaluation is a form of inquiry that seeks to address critical questions concerning how well a program, process, product, system, or organization is working. It is typically undertaken for decision making purposes and should lead to a use of findings by a variety of stakeholders. Now, according to Steven 1991, evaluation refers to the process of determining the merit, worth, or value of something or the product that process. Terms used to refer to this process or part of it includes appraise, analyze, assess, critique, examine, grade, inspect judge, rate, rank, review, study, test, etc. The evaluation process normally involves some identification of relevant standards of marriage, worth or value, and some integration or synthesis of the results to achieve an overall evaluation or set of associated evaluations. According to Stockbim 1973, evaluation is the process of delightening, obtaining, and providing useful information for judging decision alternatives. According to Suchman 1968, evaluation applies the methods of science to action program in order to obtain objective and valid measures of what such programs are accomplishing. Evaluation research asks about the kind of change desired, the means by which this change is to be brought about and the sign by which such changes can be recognized. According to Thorndike and Higgins, the term evaluation is closely related to the measurement. It is in some respects inclusive, including informal and initiative judgment of pupils process. Evaluation is describing something in terms of selected attributes and judging the degree of acceptability or sustainability to of what has been described. According to Vedang 1997, evaluation is a careful retrospective assessment of the merit, worth, and value of administration, output, and outcome of government intervention, which is intended to play a role in future practical situation. According to West 1997, an evaluation is examining and weighing a phenomena a person, a thing, an idea, against some explicit or inflict yardstick. Formal evaluation is the systematic assessment of the <laughs> operation and or outcomes of a program or a policy compared to a set of explicit or inflict standards as a means of contributing to improvement of the program or policy. Thus, education is a broader term than the measurement. It is more comprehensive than mere inclusive than the term measurement. It goes ahead of measurement, which simply indicates the numerical value. It gives the value judgment to the numerical value. It includes both tangible and intangible qualities. The student here, here, here we have given so many definitions, and these definitions are gathered or collected from different sources. And you can do, you can learn, or you can read according to your choice. Now, the characteristics of evaluation in education. The first is child-centered. Evaluation is a child-centered process which gives importance to the learning process, not to the teaching process. To assess the students and their complete development brought about through its education is evaluation. Second, continuous process. Evaluation is a continuous process. It, it leads together with teaching learning process. Evaluation is a continuous process in an Ideal situation, the teaching learning process on the one hand and the evaluation procedure on the other hand go together. It is certainly a wrong belief that the evaluation procedure follows the teaching learning process. Next is comprehensive. Evaluation is a comprehensive as it includes everything can be evaluated. A comprehensive program of evaluation involves the use of many procedures, for example, analytical synthetic synthetic heuristic, experimental, lecture, etc. A great variety of tests, for example, essay type, objective type, etc. And other necessary techniques, for example, sociometric, controlled observation, and techniques, etc. Next, fourth is the common practice. Evaluation is a common practice among the proper growth of the child, mentally and physical. Evaluation emphasizes 
the broad personality changes and major objectives of an educational program. Therefore, it includes not only subject matter achievement, but also attitudes, interests, and ideals, ways of thinking, work habits, and personal and social adaptability. Fifth corporate process. Evaluation is a cooperative process involving students, teachers, parents, and peer group. Evaluation always assumes that educational objectives have pre previously been identified or defined. This is the reason why teachers are expected not to lose sight of educational objectives while planning and care, carrying out the teaching learning process either in the classroom or outside. Sixth point is accomplishment of educational goals, objectives, objectives, and accordingly learning experiences should be so relevant that ultimately they should direct the pupil towards the accomplishment of educational goals. Seventh, fairness. Evaluation must be fair to all students. This can be possible by accurate reflecting of the range of expected behaviors as desired by the course objectives. To keep fairness in evaluation, it is also desired that the students should know exactly how they are to be evaluated. This means that the students should be provided information about evaluation, such as nature of the materials on which they are to be examined, that is context and objectives. The form of and structure of examination, length of examination, and the value in terms of marks of each component of the course. Eighth is interpretation of results. Another factor which must be considered in the choice of a test is the ease of interpretation of test results. A test score is not meaningful unless the teacher or counselor is able to decide what significance or importance should be attached to it and to make some judgment concerning its relationship to other kind of information about the students. Nearly all test publishers produce manual designs to aid the teacher in interpreting test results. Next is. Nine, multiple aspects. It is concerned with the total personality of students. Learning is more important than teaching. Teaching has no value if it does not result in learning on the part of the pupil. 10 point, practicability. Evaluation procedure should be realistic, practical, and efficient in terms of their cost, time taken, and the case of application. It may be an ideal procedure of evaluation, but may not be put in practice. 11, reliability. The reliability is a measure of the consistency with which the question, test, or examination procedures the same result under different but compatible conditions. Some, uh, a reliable evaluation item gives reproducible scores with similar populations of the student. It is therefore independent of the characteristics of the individual evaluation. In order to maintain reliability, one evaluative question should test only one thing at a time and give the candidates no other option. The evaluation should also adequately reflect the objectives of the teaching group. Next is the remedy. Evaluation comments on the result which helps in remedial work it is not a remedy evaluation is remedial in nature and 13 point is systematic process evaluation implies a systematic process which omits the casual uncontrolled observation of pupils evaluation is the determination of the congruence between the performance and objectives 14 teaching method effectiveness of teaching method is evaluation Next is usefulness. Evaluation should also be useful for students. Feedback form from evaluation must be made available to the students and weakness. By knowing their strength and weakness, students can think of further improvement. Evaluation should suggest all the needful requirements for their improvement. And the last point is validity. A valid evaluation is one which actually tests what is set out to test, that is, one which actually measures that behavior described by the objectives under scrutiny. Obviously, no one would deliberately construct an evaluation item to test irrelevant material, but very often non-valid test items are in fact used. Example given, questions that are intended to test recall or textual material 
but which actually test the candidate's power of reasoning or question which assume a level of pre-knowledge that the candidates do not necessarily possess. Here, and there are many types of the validity, but here I have given only four types of the validity or the here in evaluation. One is the content validity, another is the convergent validity, next is criterion validity, and one is discriminant validity. Validity. Students, we will learn in detail study about the reality and validity in the next lecture. I think that it's enough for this day. And uh, you have to go through it. The content matter that is gathered, collected, and modified. I think that you can learn a lot from this content. Thank you. Yadi aapko humara video achcha lage, please like kare, subscribe kare, aur comment kare. The name of our channel is the Educational and Spiritual Consciousness. Thank you. Have a good day. Good afternoon to all.